guys, I'm going to be showing you a hair tutorial, and it's kind of like a Bella Thorne inspired look. So here's what it looks like from the front, and then from the back. So, let's get started. First of all, I know that my hair is already kind of um, wavy-ish because I slept in a braid last night, but you can still do it. So, first off, you're going to need a brush, you're going to need heat protectant. I'm using Chi 44 Iron Guard. And then after you're done curling, you're going to need some like shiny like serum, something you can put in your hair. I'm using Paul Mitchell Super Shiny, uh, Super Skinny Serum. And then you're going to need something to pull back your hair. You're going to need a few clips for a little tip I'm going to show you. You can use bobby pins or you can use anything that really has a clamp. Anything. And then, of course, you're going to need a curling iron. And I'm using the Jill Bure de Paris one. And I think this one is half an inch. You can use half an inch, three fourths. Um, it depends on what kind of curl you want. But mine has a clamp, but we're not going to be using that because I don't know, it just doesn't work out for me. And I think you don't get like a dent in your hair if you don't use it, so that's good. Um, so I'm just going to like wrap my hair over the clamp. And that will work. And then put it on your highest heat setting. I'm putting it on 30. And then make sure it's turned on. And mine is already heated up. So you're going to then take your chi or take your um, heat protectant and you're going to spray it all over. And then take your brush and brush it out. And then you're going to take it again and spray on the inside. Make sure it's all covered. And this is going to just keep your hair protected from the heat and it will also add some shine to it. Okay, just wait for that to dry. Don't put it on when it's wet still. Okay. And then... So then you're going to section your hair off and do the same to the other side. And then take your clamp and pin back your hair. So we're going to be working with these two sections. So first of all, take your curling iron and grab about okay grab about this much hair I recommend on taking smaller pieces for more tight curls and bigger sections for more loose curls but for me I like doing tighter curls because if you kind of have straight naturally straight hair like me then you're going to want to try and take the smallest pieces so you're going to be able to have your curls last longer so, first of all, don't use a clamp if you have one. And if you don't have a clamp, that is really good. So, first of all, take it and put um, your curler behind your head like this. And then you're going to wrap your curl away from your face. Make sure you don't twist your hair while you're doing this. Or else it's going to give you a different type of curl. So, we're going to hold that for about six seconds, maybe. And then let it drop into your hand. And hold that for a little while. And I'm not going to hairspray my hair until the end. So, just let that fall out. And you get a beautiful curl like this. Then, split up the rest of your hair. And do the same. Just hold it. And then let it drop again. And after we're finished doing like the bottom half of our hair, we're going to do something different to the top of our head. And I'll show you that little tip I was talking about in the beginning. And then 
So don't worry if these curls look like really tight to you. Because we are going to loosen them up and they're eventually going to fall out. Okay, now I'm going to go finish the rest of my hair and um, until I get to the top part of my hair and I'm going to show you that little tip, so I'll be right back. Hey guys, so right now I'm going to be showing you this really awesome tip. So, we're going to take your hair, that's, and I'm looking in the mirror if you see me looking up, so. You're going to take hair that's closest to your part, so, like this, make sure it's kind of small. And then... I'm going to take your curler and just kind of wrap it around like this. Make sure it's not pointing down, make sure it's just right over your head, like parallel to your head. And then just slide the curler out and hold your curl with your hand. And then take your bobby pin, whatever you're using to kind of slide it in the curl and hold it into place. So, it'll just hold the curl. Then, we're going to do this to the rest of our head, like all around the top area. It's not going to work if you do it like to the other parts. See, look, this is like what I did to the back. We're just doing it to these parts. So, I'll show you the rest. And, um, we're going to take a piece right here. Make sure it's not too thick or it might be heavy and it might fall out. So, for here, this part you can point it a little more downwards because it's on the side of your head. You can actually do this to all of your hair, but I think it takes up a little too much time but it makes the front and top area of your head look really pretty. So we're just going to hold it and then hold it in your hand. Take your bobby pin, whatever you're using, and I'm going to go this way. And then just clamp it down. Looks kind of silly right now, but trust me, it turns out really pretty. Then. I'll be back to show you what it turned out like for the rest of my head. So I will be right back. Hey guys, so right now I'm actually finished curling all the top part of my hair. And I'm just waiting on a few to curl on this side. So what I did was, I actually kind of showed you a little wrong how to do it. So what you want to do is you want to start curling from the back and then work your way to the front. Because if you start in the front, like I showed you, um, it's going to start clamping down the hair that you want to use in the back. So don't do what I showed you. Start from the back and then work your way to the front. So I look kind of messy right now, but I'm going to show you what it looks like when I take this down. So I'm just going to start taking it down from the hey back. Hey guys, so my hair looks pretty curly right now. But um, the difference between doing this type of curl and a regular curl with just your wand and not pinning it up is that when you do this type of curl, it's going to give you a whole bunch of more volume like in the top part of your head, as you can tell. So to give this a little less like thickness, if you don't want it this crazy, you're going to take your silk stuff and you're going to put a little kind of pea-sized amount, about, let's see if you can see that, about that much, rub it in your hands, and then split your hair, and just kind of slowly run your fingers through your hair. You can like pull each curl down a little, give it a little less curliness. Make sure if you pull your curl, you're going to twist it the same way that it was going. Now 
Now the reason why I didn't show you this tip on the end parts of my hair is that I wanted these parts to be a little bit longer so it gives me the illusion of that I have layers. And this is a really good trick if you want to show that you have layers. You're just kind of smoothing it out. You can kind of twist it and pull it and then separate it. No, don't too be no, don't be really harsh with it. Now I'm gonna show you a close-up view. And you can see how they maintain their shape. And the trick to doing that is when you put them up here, it's kind of um, setting them in place. Like it's cooling on the top of your head. And you know when to take it out when your hair has cooled down. And this is a really good thing. So that's actually pretty much it for this look. And I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And you can comment, rate, subscribe, and um, please leave a comment below and like tell me what kind of videos you'd like to see. And that would be great. So see you guys later.